is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and today I'm sharing a birthday card with you and I thought it would be super cute for a husband or um, a boyfriend but you can put any sentiment inside but I'm using the Lemon Zest stamp set and in the stamp set it has um, a really cute sentiment that says to my main squeeze so it says happy birthday and then I did the sentiment to my main squeeze I thought that was super cute and appropriate for this card and it's so cheerful and I love this stamp set it's so cute it also has lemons in it so it is called lemon zest but the sentiments are really cute in this stamp set so this is the stamp set that I'm using and I am using a different technique for the background I'm using the baby wipe technique so I know a lot of you have probably seen it already but I thought it was perfect for this card and if you haven't seen it you're in for a treat because it is a lot of fun to do and you just never know what it's going to turn out like um, it, the backgrounds could be different um, each time you do it so it's really really fun to do so let's get started with this for what you're going to need for this is a basic card and I'm using the thick whisper white this is five and a half by four and a quarter your basic card you're going to also need a piece of pumpkin pie this is four and a quarter by five and three eighths and then the piece to stamp on is a thick whisper white also and it works really good with this technique the thick and this is four by five and a quarter you're going to need a piece of basic black and this is for the banner in the background underneath the sentiment which is one half by four and a quarter and then the sentiment is two and a half by three quarters and I think that's it so what you're going to need for this is you're going to need some baby wipes and I'm going to bring in my little mat here because it's going to protect my surface and you need you can use three or four baby wipes seem to work really well you can double it in, in half and make it more cushiony um, I'm going to do that for this because my stamp will fit on here you're going to need some reinkers I'm using the um, Daffodil Delight in the pumpkin pie and what you're going to do is you're just going to start dripping little drips all over just do it about the size of what your stamp is and then you want to fill in all the spaces pretty pretty good and then I'm going to use the pumpkin pie and fill in this one I'm going to do a little bit more um, a little bit more of the daffodil delight the other one I think I did a little bit more pumpkin pie I think that's big enough for my tan my orange slice <laughs> okay so that is that um, I'm gonna scoot this out of the way and get my piece that we're gonna stamp on and I'm gonna take my little um, orange half or whatever you want it to be and we are just gonna stamp on that and you can use a lot of you can stamp a lot of times with one this amount of ink on it so I'm just gonna do it so that it looks like what I call wallpaper I like to stamp off of it too but look how cute I love this technique it's so fun to do and you just keep stamping with the ink that's on your baby wipe and it's really fun because each time you get a different look and yeah I have this one is a lot more yellow than the last one I'll show you that one when I get done I just like to stamp so that it looks all cohesive and all one um, like it could be one bigger bigger sheet so that's all we're going to use right now for that I'm going to bring it back in a little bit and I'm going to use um, some of it for the inside and then we're going to take our other piece 
you need an extra piece to stamp too. You can you don't even have to clean this off. You can just stamp off on here. And then get my tan, uh, pumpkin pie. And I'm going to stamp two more of these. Boy, I cannot hold it. My finger hurts. You can see I have a Band-Aid. And my nail broke in a weird way. And it hurts, so I had to put a Band-Aid on it. I'm sorry if it's distracting. <laughs> so there's our two other orange slices. And you can use the Big Shot and cut this out with um, your framelits, but I'm just going to go ahead and cut around it because it's just quick and easy enough. It's just a circle. Leave a little bit of a white space around it because it just looks better to me if you just um, don't cut it right up to the orange. And I'll go ahead and cut these. I'll speed it up so that you don't have to watch me cut all this. Okay, so now we have our two orange slices ready. You can see how much lighter um, they are than... Here's the other one. So this has a lot more of the Daffodil Delight in it. And this one has more of the Pumpkin Pie in it. But they're both really cute. That's why I love this. It's so different and you get a different look each time. So we're going to get our pumpkin pie and we're going to layer it, our stamped piece on the pumpkin pie. And then we're going to take one of our orange slices and we're going to put that probably right, right about there. Well, let's see where my, let's see where my black is going to go. Yeah, we're going to put it right here. And then I'm going to take this black strip and we're going to flag the end and we're going to put that on here I'm going to go right over that little orange slice that I put down I'm going to use some dimensionals for the back of our oh I have to stamp the sentiment. See where my brain is today? I think this is a little crooked too. Let's see. Yeah, that's much better. It's not quite in the middle, so I'm going to go down a hair with that. You want it kind of in the middle. You do want it in the middle. All right, so let's stamp our sentiment. And I'm going to use some Versamark. I'm going to use my little embossed buddy on here. Happy birthday. These, the sentiment, everything is from the same stamp set. I just thought it'd be easier that way. And then I'm going to get my black embossing powder. And we are coming back in the new annual catalog. You'll be so happy. I know a lot of people have asked me about that. They are coming back with the black. I've had this black forever. And I'm still using it. So we will have black. I'm going to grab my little tweezers here because I don't want to burn my finger on this. Before I did it a little bit longer and I went ahead and um, cut it afterwards because I didn't want to burn my finger. I'm looking for a little brush because I want to get that excess off there. Alright, so let me get my heat tool and we'll heat this and emboss it. Okay, so that is all embossed, ready to go. And we're going to add some dimensionals on the back of that. 
hopefully I can get them off with this band-aid it's been so hard when you don't have your thumb it's amazing how you things you can't do okay and this we're gonna center right in the center there and then I'm gonna pop up this other one orange slice here it's really cute popped up on here and then we'll put this one down below and that is it is that not adorable I love this stamp set it's so cute and it's really fun to do and I thought the baby wipe technique would be perfect for this here is the other one you can see how different the background is and I did actually did an, another one this was my very first and original so you can see how much lighter that one is even than these two so it, you get different looks each time so I hope you enjoyed it if you need any supplies you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com and shop from my blog I hope you have a blessed day and I will catch you in the next one bye everyone see you later